All right, y'all. So instead of it being like a update video today or a day video, or whatever, I'm gonna give y'all a motivational video. Right? It's two something in the morning right now, and you know I just had stuff in my mind. Like this is gonna be like a short motivational video. Like, it's not gonna be long at all. Um, and this is gonna be a video. Y'all know this is a Christian channel, right? We talk about uh, God and the Lord. You know. Pretty much every video. <clears throat> so it's like this, man. As men of God, right? As men of Christ, who want to follow God's will, right? And who aim to follow God's will every single day. It's not easy, right? As you have things of the world, right? The God of this age, right? Satan, as he has control of majority of the world, you know, as someone who is following God's will, you're gonna stand up, right? You're gonna you're gonna lose friends. You're gonna lose, um, you know, um, you know, there might be certain women that you want to talk to, and they won't want to talk to you like that because you're boring or you know things like that so you're gonna stand out but you gotta take those good things you know because rejections and people who avoid you are people that aren't for you right or are meant to be in your life now of course you know things are worldly and, and i always talk about how you know the world nowadays promotes lust like all the time you know like just being in a relationship, not marriage, just being in a relationship with somebody, you know, it's like, oh, it's expected to have sex. No, you're expected to have sex, but you're expected to, it's, you're weird if you don't, you're weird if you don't do it when you're in a relationship, but as we know, that would cause, um, can't think of it right now, but it would cause, you know, issues with God, because God doesn't want us to do that, you know, that's, fornication you know what I'm saying we aren't we are supposed to wait to be celibate for God until marriage when marriage when a God ordained marriage happens that's when we can you know do that now man as we want to grow as Christian men right become biblical masculine leaders and we aim to follow God's will daily we aim to follow what God tells us to do daily so we can prove 1% more each day, right? As we do that, and as we are fighting off this stronghold of lust, the stronghold of PMO, right? The enemy is not going to let us go easily, right? The enemy is going to make it extremely, like, y'all y'all don't realize, man, the enemy going to make it extremely hard, man. Like, we are... We are literally fighting for our lives, man. Right? And it's been a while since I've been this serious in the video, but, like, I had to say it, man. Like, we're literally fighting for our lives. You know? That's why it's so important to be in prayer. It's so important to, you know, raise your spirit and lower your flesh. Right? Why you gotta fast. Why you can't be in the spirit of gluttony where you're eating a lot of food and you're tired afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Why well, you gotta be in the physical, you gotta be working out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you're right. Because when your body's right, your, your mind will be right. You know what I'm saying? So, we're literally fine for our lives, man. Like, we, like, as men of God, we all want the same things, right? We want, you know, blessings from God from, you know, getting our own places. You know what I'm saying? Get our own houses, you know, finding wives. You know, wives that are right for us, wives that are in the faith, right? Who are feminine, submissive, you know, those wives, right? We want to have, we want to start a family, we want to have kids, right? All these things, and you want to be that, that masculine man, masculine leader, right? You want to be there to protect for your family, right? Even your current family, you want to be, you want to be a, a light for your family, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you're, 
let's say your family isn't following God's 100% right there, lukewarm or, you know, things like that. You got, you have to be the example. You have to be light for them and just show them how it is to be, you know, be a person who had the spirit of God within them, who is following God's will and how good life is, how great life is, right? So as we try to do this, as we try to grow, the enemy is literally going to try to be on us. You know what I'm saying? Literally like a boxing match. Like literally, it's literally a boxing match. You know, like how I say you do the air jabs, basically pretend that you're basically in your head when you're doing the air jabs, when you get multiple thoughts, to basically just think that, think of, you know, the enemy being in front of you. And just, you know, you just do those jabs, probably through one verse three, probably six verse 25. And you're saying... You know, saying your power's not going to work, in Jesus' name, your attacks aren't going to prosper, you know what I'm saying, that, things like that, but you're going to aggress with it, you know what I'm saying, you got to do it over and over again, like, over and over again, meaning when you get, whenever you get love done, whenever they try to creep in your mind, you can't, because, like, you can't, because you can't let it get in your head at all, you know what I'm saying, because if you do, that's the enemy trying to get in you, trying to creep in your mind, and if you let him in a little bit, it's over, right? So as soon as you sense it, you gotta be like, no, no, props. Like you gotta say the, you gotta say first and do the air jabs, right? And like, you got, you have to avoid certain content, man. Certain things you watch, m music listening to, things like that that can literally mess with your mind. You know what I'm saying? Can make you think certain things, right? Make you think about love. Make you think about just different things. You know? And, man, this is a bunch of videos on YouTube talking about that, man. I'm not going to go into detail about it because, like, you know, that could be a whole another topic and a whole other video. But, man, it's important that you guys have a clear mind, man. You listen to gospel music, listen to Christian music. And even with the Christian music, man, you got to be careful what Christian, what Christian music you listen to because majority of it is good, right? Majority of it is good. But there's some that still have a certain message in there. So you got to be careful. <clears throat> oh, man. You just really got to fight, man. And by you, I mean, like, everybody. I mean, including me. You know what I'm saying? You literally got to fight. Like, if you want the most out of life, if you really want those blessings to come from God, and if you really want to be celebrated for God, if you really want to honor God, if you really want to, you know, seek out God's righteousness so all those things that you want in your life can be added on to you. You have to fight, man. When you fight, you're really fighting for your future family. You're fighting for your current family. You're fighting, like, how do you expect to be a light for your family if you're not fighting the best that you can, fighting off the sin, fighting off, you know, things that try to make you weak? You know what I'm saying? Like, when you, when you realize, man, it's like your mind gets in such a lustful state and like just the way your mind kind of goes, like, like the way that you build yourself, like in Christ as you're going and ongoing and like retaining and, and things like that is growing, your mind starts to go a certain way because like as you, as you relapse, you're, you have this opening that Satan takes full advantage of and tries to bring all these different demons and spirits and thoughts your way man but you gotta push it out you gotta fight man you can't let the, you cannot let the enemy win man because the enemy has you in this grass and you're trying to fight through it trying to beat this addiction but he's not gonna let you go easily right you gotta fight man man it's, if you really want your life to change if you really want that life that you want to seek out man you have to fight you have to fight man you have to be, you know, we have to be in your prayer. You have to be in, you have to fast. You have to, you know what I'm saying? You have to do what you have to do, man. And when that, when those days come when you're extremely, you know, extremely horny, you're, you know, you just have all that lust and you're just basically shaking. I've had those days. You're basically shaking. You're like, man, like, this is bad, man. You got to keep fighting, man. You have to. I don't let, listen, because I've experienced this, man. 
when you have those days and you're just shaking basically and like you're getting beaten, you're getting beaten like you're in the boxing match, you're in the corner and you're getting beaten, right? With the level thoughts trying to like, like Emmy Shalou trying to knock it, knock on your head, trying to trying to get that, trying to let you open the door so you can come in there, man. Don't let it, don't let it, don't let it enter, man. Do not let it enter, right? Do not and once you let it enter, it is over. Do not let it enter, man. Right? You gotta bro. You gotta yell, man. Like you got like you know those warriors, like when you watch um the movie three hundred or anything like that, man, those like the you, you even like um Beowulf those movies where like those men are like strong, testosterone, and they're, they're yelling like they like every time they fight, they're just yelling. Yeah, yell, man. You have to yell. You have to yell, man. You're fighting for your life, man. And the reason why I can't be too loud is because obviously it's two in the morning. My parents are sleeping. <laughs> but you're fighting for your life, man. You cannot let the enemy stop you from what you want. You want that life. You want those kids. You want those blessings. You want to have a clear mind. You want to have, you want your mind to be clean of lust, man. You want your mind to be clear. You want your spirit to be high. You want to just walk around with a smile on your face full of energy because you have the spirit of God within you. You're just walking around positive. You're loving people. You're just, you want a better life. That life that you had in PMO and lust, that's not you. That's your old life. That's not you anymore. You don't want to, you don't want to stay in that life. You want to stay in life. It's a fight, man. You got to fight. You have to fight. You have to fight, man. You cannot let the enemy beat you, man. It's a spiritual war. It's a spiritual war. It is very, very tough, man. The God of this age, Satan has control of this world, man. There is lust everywhere, man. All these different things like on social media things like that which I don't use social media but if you use social media there are things all over the world that are traps man they are traps when you watch certain content it takes one less video it's over I'm saying like last time last thing I heard about TikTok man I don't even I, I, I don't use it obviously I never I don't even use it like that when on social media but TikTok allow certain things nowadays that are lustful man like y'all have to be careful y'all have to be careful man y'all can't and y'all have to be disciplined man that is so important you have to be disciplined you cannot be lax you cannot be lax man you set a time to wake up set a time to go to bed you know don't don't be lax man when there's no moment that you're lax about things and you're just kind of going with the flow that's where it gets you man you have to have a strong mind, man. You have to block out all those thoughts. All those thoughts that try to pierce your mind. You have to be strong, man. You have to be strong. Every time they try to come in, don't do a jab, man. Do a jabs. You know, you're in the corner, right? He's trying to, trying to, trying to, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, right? You gotta weave. You gotta weave. Bam. Counter. You know what I'm saying? Every time. Every time, don't let him get to you, man. It's literally like, it's, yeah, it's literally boxing, man. Like, the opponent always tries to get in your mind, right? You're focused, and he's trying to say something to get to, get to you. When he gets to you, you lose your focus, and you lose. You cannot let him win, man. You have to be a man. You have to fight for your life, for your family, man. You have to fight for God, right? You want to be a warrior of Christ? Right, you wanna, you know, be that king that God set you to be because you came from God's kingdom, right? God's kingship, right? You wanna be the example of a man of Christ for others. You have to fight, man. You have to fight. And you have to stay out of the world. You have to, like, times where you have no friends, where, you know, you're feeling alone and things like that, man. It's all, it's all good, man. 
this all guess is him trying to get to you, mate, just trying to make you feel like, man, I'm alone, man, like, this sucks. Listen, God is helping you grow in the background. That's why you gotta pray, man, cause, so God can talk to you and let you know what's going on, man. Like, God's helping you grow so that you can, he can bring the right people into your life, man. Like, with this six months of growth, man, like, when March comes, man, March 2023, Man, I really want y'all to see a difference from me in September this year to then, man, to March. I want y'all to see a difference, man. Because I, I say, I said it, and I say, I'm going to say it every single time, man. When March comes, man, and the end of the six-month growth is then, I'm going to seek out a wife. I'm going to seek out a wife. I'm gonna grow every single day. And I'm gonna fight. Same way how I'm fighting to stay, um, stay with those habits that I'm doing every single day for this growth. I'm gonna fight for my life. I'm gonna fight for Christ, man. With that being said, man, that's the end of this little video, man. I said not gonna be too long, but I'm not being long anyway, man. <laughs> so, appreciate y'all watching, man. Let me know your, your thoughts in the comments down below. Appreciate y'all who left comments in the previous video. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Your brother Aaron. Peace.